In this video we're going to be having a look at stealth or hidden quadratics. So an example question here, find all real solutions to that equation. Now the idea with equations like this that look a little bit like quadratics but aren't quite is to try and make a substitution that unlocks the quadratic that makes it visible. Usually the substitution we'll make is the middle term in the quadratic. So let's do that. Let's let u equal root x. Now if this truly is a quadratic, then u squared is going to appear in this as well. So u squared is root x squared. Well, the root of a number times itself is just that number without the root equals x. So there we go. We've got u equals root x, which means that u squared equals x. Rewriting the quadratic now, we get u squared, x is u squared, plus 5 root x, which is u, minus 6 equals 0. And now with that substitution, we've unlocked the quadratic, we've made it visible. Now with these particular types of question, the old-fashioned way would be to factorise it by hand, but with the new A level, the linear A level, there's no pressure to do that anymore. The calculator does all the work for you. So going into equation mode, polynomial degree 2. Let's put those coefficients in there. 1u squared plus 5u minus 6 equals... Well, the first solution is u equals 1. The other solution is u equals minus 6. Right, that means that root x equals 1 and root x equals minus 6. Now pay attention to this part because this is quite important. To get x from root x, we square it to get x equals 1 squared, which is 1, and x equals minus 6 squared, which is 36. Okay, so... Let's just double check that these answers are correct. Let's substitute them into the original equation to see if it works. So we've got if x equals 1, we've got 1 plus 5 root 1 minus 6 equals 0, which is what we wanted. That equation at the top there, x plus 5 root x minus 6 equals 0. It does indeed equal 0. Let's try the other. 36 plus 5 root 36 minus 6 equals 60. doesn't equal 0, so something's gone wrong. Well, actually, using this method has produced a false solution, and the only way to check for false solutions is either by subbing them in or looking for alarms, alarm bells. So here, alarm bells should have been ringing when we've got root x equals minus 6. The root of a number is always positive. This doesn't have a plus or minus outside the root sign, therefore, it's got to have a positive answer. So as soon as we see root x equals minus 6, we can discard that as being an invalid answer. Therefore, the only solution to this is x equals 1. So be careful when doing examples like this to substitute the answer back into the original equation in order to check whether the answer is valid. If it's not, we need to discard it. For more resources like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to alevelmathsrevision.com.